Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the Emma Gardner channel. I'm so excited for this episode because here on Emma Gardner we get just a few times a year to really get excited. And I think one of those times is very early spring when we're starting our seeds. And it's always, you know, seed starting, harvest, and a few things like that that really get us excited. So we're going to be seed starting today. And when we're seed starting, we do a few things different. The first thing is with our trays. Oftentimes people see those trays that are kind of, um, they're like a four cell tray or a six cell tray, or sometimes you use your Jiffy Pete pellets. Those are all fine, use what you want. Use your, your red Solo cups, whatever. Um, whatever works for you is what I'm trying to say. And this really works for us. These are 288 cell trays. So there's 288 little cubes in here. And we do that because, first of all, when we're seed starting, space is at a premium indoors. And we don't wanna run as many lights. Uh, we wanna run as few of lights as we can. So by using smaller cells, we use our space more effectively. And then what we're hoping to do is just to give them a nice head start. And then in about two or three weeks, hopefully have the greenhouse up, maybe four weeks have the greenhouse up, so that by the time they're ready to leave these cells here, they can be transplanted in the greenhouse without a problem. And if we have to move a few up that get cramped, we can do so indoors and still afford that space. So these are just a very temporary holding space, but it also ensures that, let's say something doesn't sprout. We're gonna plant about one to two seeds in each cell. If something doesn't sprout, we're not at a loss. Whereas with a four or a six cell tray, you're wasting about four to six inches of your starting space and quite a bit of seed starting mix, which is also pretty expensive so you wanna use um, as little space as possible, and that's what we do. But again, use whatever works for you. Um, and also, if you wanna see what kind of mix we're using, check out our other video on how we mixed up our, our mix. We're just using a mix of trifecta, worm castings, and pro mix. So that's just kind of the gist of it, but if you wanna see more in depth, go check out that video, it's gonna really help you out. So let's fill up these trays, and then we can start planting seeds. It's really as simple as that. We're not gonna be starting everything, but we're gonna start a majority of the stuff that we're gonna grow. And then uh, in about two weeks, we're gonna second, we're gonna start a second batch of seeds um, about the same amount that we're doing here. So we're gonna have quite a few starts. It's gonna be exciting. All right, catch you in a bit. All right, and we are going to just, the best way I find to do this is just to put it right in here, throw it right in the middle, throw the seed starting mix right in the middle, and then take your hand and rake it over back and forth because you don't want any air pockets. So you want to push, you want to push the seed starting mix down and kind of compact it just a little bit so that the seed starting mix makes good contact with uh, the seeds that you're starting. So just kind of push it down and rake it over and scrape off any extra. So we're just going to go like that. And that works good. So. There we go. So there's one of them. Need a little bit on this corner here. And then we're gonna give them a little bit of a pack down before we plant the seeds. All right, so we are ready to plant. It is super simple. All you wanna do is you wanna compact the soil just a little bit in these cells here. And that's going to make sure again that the seeds have no air gaps because roots don't really grow in the air all that well. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're just packing these down just a little bit before we put the seeds in. And then that way, when we put the seeds in and we sprinkle something over top, they're gonna to be good to go. Really simple. Today we're just gonna be starting some of our tomatoes and some peppers and onions. We will only uh, probably, oh my goodness, we'll probably only plant a, a quarter of what we're actually gonna be growing this year, um, just because we're short on time and we also want to kind of space out our planting so that we can really enjoy it. Because sometimes, I mean, this, this is a long process. What, what you guys don't see on camera is the fact that this process takes, you know, two, three hours. And uh, we just don't have that much time right now. It's a busy, busy season for us. So we like to start, we like to kind of start in, in, sec, in uh, kind of segments so that we can actually enjoy our time doing it. <laughs> it helps. Um, so the first thing we're going to start is just some Roma tomatoes. If you've already started stuff, 
Let me know in the comments box below what you're starting. I always love hearing stories about what you're starting and different things like that. Because there's, I mean, there's millions and millions of plants out there. So for people to uh, to tell what their seeds starting, sometimes it's like, oh, I didn't even know that that variety existed, or oh, really? That's that's pretty cool, you know. So it's it's good to start conversation. We have a a speckled Roma, beautiful. These uh, these ones come from the botanical interest. We love their seeds. Um, same thing with rare seeds. You know, a lot of people always ask me, well, Luke, why do you promote other seed companies like Rare Seeds and Botanical Interest and the Seed Savers Exchange? And we were using some of their seeds too. Um, you know, why do you use, why do you support other companies when you yourself have a seed company? Well, the deal is, is that we can't provide every single variety. So what we do is we like to provide the basics. But I always say that for the basics, you should be going with us, with us because we can provide the most seed for the littlest amount of money. But if you want some unique varieties like the, you know, the, the speckled, the speckled broma, these are really hard for us to get in, in bulk quantities, so they're affordable, and so we don't carry these varieties. But there's a lot of companies that do kind of, they, they, their whole, uh, you know, their whole point of why they're, they're the company that they are, like rare seeds and botanical interest and stuff they're made for unique varieties. So we always suggest that if you want unique varieties, go with them. And uh, we'll definitely, t I, we, we're using their seeds right now. So we stand behind them, they're great companies. Um, and so, uh, you know, let them, let them know that if you go over there and get some seeds, let them know we sent you. Um, and so we're just gonna start those now, the speckled Romas. Those are, oh, those are such a cool seed. We just really, um, we love growing the heirlooms. I mean, there's nothing, Obviously, there's nothing quite like an heirloom. The flavor, the just the characteristics of it, um, really awesome. So I'm going to just kind of finish up though. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so we're gonna finish up off camera. But pretty much, we're just gonna keep going with this uh, with this kind of theme here. And uh, whatever we use up, we use up, and that'll be that. All right, so we are kind of just finishing up here. Just, uh, I'm gonna keep going, but I don't wanna make the video too long. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And also let me know, like I said in the comments box below, seed starting is such a joy and it really gets us in the mindset for spring. And just make sure that when you're seed starting, you uh, plant some for a neighbor, plant some for a friend, and plant some for yourself as well. Because sharing is caring and if we start our seeds and if you know how to start seeds, Sometimes you can knock on your neighbor's door and say, hey, don't go to the greenhouse and get those seeds. I've got some. And the more we start becoming neighborly, I think you're going to start to see the world change in amazing ways. We've really gotten disconnected in the past few years and uh, the news has all got us scared about who our neighbor is. And so people really tend to just kind of stick to themselves. And I think that's a real shame. And as soon as we start embracing community, I think we're going to really see the world change in amazing ways. So. We always start some for our neighbor as well and uh, some family members and friends and they always they always typically have a smile on their face because who's going to turn on a free seed like so. All right. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, grow bigger, go home. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.